Hi there, this is Terrence McDevitt with Bluefish Development Group. Uh, we've had a few situations lately where uh, some developers who are installing Magento for the first time, Magento community, um, have gone through the installation process and realized uh, sort of at the end that uh, there is no sample data in the instance that they set up, um, not understanding that we need to install that sample data before finishing the, the initial install. Um, but uh, there is hope, so you can actually go back in after the fact and install the sample data. So we're going to walk through that now. There's a few videos online that show this. Um, we weren't necessarily satisfied with some of those. We felt like they were um, either not detailed enough or uh, actually had some steps in there that we felt were unnecessary. So uh, let's go ahead and look at a local instance of, of Magento uh, right here that we, that we installed without installing the sample data. And so you can see there's, it's not really skinned in any particular way, it's the default skin. There's no pro there's no products at all. Uh, it's just an empty store essentially. So let's say that we wanted to go in and install the sample data. Um, you can download the sample data as a zip file from Magento, uh, and when you extract it, you get a few things. So you get a, a SQL script for the actual sample data. You get a media folder, uh, and you get a skin folder. Um, so the key thing here is that if you want to install the sample data after the fact. Uh, you will have to drop the, the, the tables in your database. So if you've kind of gone through the process of, of adding products in your empty store um, and you want to use the sample data, you're sort of out of luck. You need to drop the tables in order for that to happen. So uh, that's sort of the thing to do, but the thing to know before you go through this process. Um, and if you can't do that for some reason, then you just either install Magento into a new database or um, just don't use the sample data. So let's go ahead and look at my tables that I've got here. I've got a Magento dev table, uh, database, and you can see all the tables are populated. This was populated through the initial install. Um, the first thing I need to do if I uh, want to install the sample data is I need to drop those tables. So we've got a script here that will, uh, this script is not included in the sample data uh, zip file, unfortunately, but we just wrote this. Pretty easy to write, but uh, anyway, it just uses the database, turns off foreign key checks, and then drops all the tables. So we're going to go ahead and run this uh, in that database. And uh, if we refresh once this thing is done, all those tables should be gone. So that's the first step. Uh, once you do that, then we'll want to actually run the sample data uh, SQL script that's provided by Magento. It comes with the sample data. Uh, and that script, if we switch over here, uh, this script is going to go in and uh, recreate all those tables um, and populate the tables as well. So let's just refresh the the view here, and all of these tables should be gone now in this database. Okay, so now you can see that all of the tables have been deleted from the database. So now we want to go ahead and just run the sample data script from Magento. So we'll use the database that we're currently working in, and we'll go ahead and just execute this script. Uh, this script will take a little while to run. It's got to create all those tables, uh, and then it's got to insert all the data uh, for those tables. So, um, but once it's done, you can refresh your list of tables in uh, your database and you'll see all of the, the populated Magento tables. Okay, so now that our script is done, we can go ahead and refresh uh, MySQL. You'll see all of the tables are now there in the database. So if we go back to our site and refresh this, uh, we should start to see some product information. Um, you can see Madison Island is there uh, and there's some product info. Um, but it doesn't look like it's complete, so uh, actually that's a different problem there. But you can see that some of the product data here is not showing up as it should. Um, so we're not done. Uh, there's actually a couple different steps that need to happen here. There's two more steps. So with the sample data um, comes a collection of catalog items, so we need to make sure those get copied over. Um, in your default install, you've got a media folder with some subfolders here. Um, you can see that catalog product cache uh, gets created, so we can actually just blow that away. Um, but uh, from the sample data, we want to take those folders and bring those over into, um, into your default install. So let's go ahead and do that. Some of these folders you can copy straight over. So for example, the capture folder, the catalog folder, custom options, uh, email right down here, uh, import, Wrapping, WYSIWYG, uh, those can all be brought over. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and then the XML Connect folder is exactly the same, so you don't need to bring that over. Uh, and um, 
everything else is is pretty much the same um, so you don't need to worry about those um, DHL for example and downloadable so uh, that will bring over the catalog data uh, but you also have to bring over the skin data so um, if we go back to the to the store and refresh this we should see some of the catalog data here um, uh, yeah, actually all right now if I bring over the skin uh, I gotta make sure I bring over um, the right images so we'll go back up to uh, the skin folder over here in our default install skin front end RWD we'll do the same over in the sample data skin front end RWD default uh, and then the images folder can be brought over uh, in its entirety um, and you can just say replace uh, and if I do that and come back in I should start to see proper product data. Actually, this is uh, an issue with the default install is uh, in the uh, in the .ht access there is a variable called rewrite base, a property called rewrite base, and by default it's commented out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change this to slash. Um, and by doing that, we should be able to see our store in its entirety at this point, um, and it should work as expected. So now you can see I've, I've logged in. I, I've clicked on a product, and I'm actually able to go into the product, into the details. You see pictures here uh, from the, the catalog data. Uh, if I go to my account, that's going to work. Um, if I go back to the home page, I can see... Um, all of the sample product data is showing up as expected. So now that your store is up and running, uh, you do have to do one last thing, and that is to go through the installation process again uh, in order to set up the admin user and password and some other details. So to do that, go ahead and get rid of the uh, in app, etc. Get rid of local XML uh, and just trash it. And once you do that, if you go to your site slash install, um, it should step you through the installation process again. It's not going to wipe out the tables in the database. Um, those aren't going to be touched. But what it will do is it will at least uh, update some tables. Uh, and in particular, it's going to create the admin user for you. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll say details for the, the, the database. Uh, use web server rewrites, definitely. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue. And then, uh, so we'll just set up an admin user. And we'll hit continue. And this should be a pretty quick process because those tables are already created. When you first go through the installation, uh, those tables don't exist, so it takes a while to, to get that thing started. Um, but for now, if we hit the site, uh, we should be good. And there we are. So uh, we've got a full site. We've got everything configured as we want it to be. Um, and that was just taking the sample data and essentially installing it on top of an existing uh, instance of Magento. Thanks.